their collective waist size and how they share that bond or what. But Draven Vargas is certainly a, a fan favorite. The competitors lock up and we are underway with match number one this evening right here with the WC on TV. Draven Vargas. Hey now. Chasing Jonas Albert Robinson across the ring. <laughs> and Jonas ending up in a precarious position in the far turnbuckle. Referee Jay Stone needs to exercise some uh, control here. He's got the authority in the ring. And if he can't control Draven Vargas from trying to attack Jonas Albert Robinson while he's in the ropes, as it is right to do so, then, you know, this match is going to be uh, just thrown out from the get go. This could also approve, uh, prove to be a strength of uh, feet here this evening between these two wrestlers. Although, uh, again, well, there, Jay Stone asserting himself, as you had alluded to, that he needed to earlier, Z-Man. Yes, yeah, so and look at this. Draven Vargas clear, not caring for the rules. Jonas Albert Robinson in the ropes. He's trying to get some space because Draven Vargas is a madman right now. After that brutal beating by Gentleman George a couple of weeks ago at the Cleaver National Guard Armory, he's looking for blood. And Draven Vargas said earlier tonight backstage that, you know, his ultimate goal is to get back at the faction. But right now, he considers Jonas Albert Robinson in his crosshairs. So you better believe that right now, Draven Vargas is seeing Gentleman George or Ryan Taylor or Shoot to Kill when he's wrestling Jonas. And look at this. That's a huge forearm. Wow, what a clothesline that is by uh, Draven Vargas on Jonas Albert Robinson. Whoa, Z-Man, did you see that suplex? He's going to go for it, naturally go for that cover, getting a two count. That was definitely a devastating suplex. Robinson is not uh, starting out the match the way he wanted to. You know, when you're a member of the elite, you want to start strong, you want to end strong. Right now, Robinson is not starting out very strong. Draven Vargas continuing his attack with those forearms. Reverses the whip. Draven Vargas going up, coming back and taking a big elbow in mid-back. Draven Vargas trying to show some rare athleticism here, and uh, he paid the price. He anticipated Robinson would just take the bait and go right under him, but Robinson saw past that, and now you see him having the edge. He is the aggressor right now in this match. Sending his opponent across the ring. Vargas, Vargas reversing. Oh. Jonas and Robinson up on top, and now Vargas in charge. Leaves his man at the turnbuckle. Comes across ring with a huge clothesline, going for a cover. And Jonas Robinson very, very smartly getting that foot on the rope. Oh, now here comes all that weight. Oh! Oh, and he catches him in the midsection. Oh, but Jonas Alvin Robinson is hurt from that, too. That's 245 pounds of solid mass coming down. And Jonas Albert Robinson was able to get out of the way of it or block it. But you can see now, the shirt's been lifted up. The tape is exposed. Now, I don't know. I'm no doctor. I don't know how much that's going to help protect him. He's got to break through all the Twinkies in that guy's back to get to his bones and muscle. Exactly what, I, well, what he said. But, yes, you see, that's the sign, the evidence of a couple weeks ago in Portland, still nursing the injury from those brutal mallet attacks. And now Robinson is exploiting that weakness, and now he's going for a, look at this, that's a camel clutch right there, a variation on the camel clutch he's got there. This that's is a all, submission move, correct? All that weight on the back of Draven Vargas, I would not be surprised if he tapped out right now. And as you said, Z-Man, that is the area that was uh, severely beaten by that, that mallet attack in Portland. Vargas trying to break the hold with those elbows. But Robinson countered. Vargas looked to show another elbow to the back. Life. A spark of life coming out of Draven Vargas. But Robinson extinguished that pretty quick. And here, going for the cover. Jonas Robinson is getting a two count now. You notice, Mr. Kelly, the elite tonight. Robinson is wearing the regal purple and gold. I mean, that's just about how the elite feels. They feel like they're the kings of the ring right now. Oh, well, I. The Northwest. They you have to agree with that as Jonas Robinson continues his attack on Draven Vargas. And it's all Robinson at this point. Rolls his man up, lifts the leg, gets a two count, and another one. Look at this. Ribs, wow. ribs back. It's all fair game because that is an affected area. And you got to believe Draven Vargas is... If he bleeds, he's going to be bleeding gravy. Another wonderful insight by the man they call G-Shot. You sit down, Pat. You don't do anything. 
You do what the man says. Draven Vargas out of the ring. And oh my God. G-Shock taking the boots to him. This is entirely uncalled for while the referee is being distracted by Jonas Albert Robinson. But That's you know, a travesty. Well, you know, you call it a travesty. I call it smart. To quote a phrase from Dr. Cleaver, that's wrestling smart. That's teamwork by the best tag team in professional wrestling today, or arguably one of the best. I've got some other of my own favorites, but right now, pound for pound, I think the elite is the best tag team in the Pacific Northwest, especially the WC. Jonas Albert Robinson continuing the attack on the lower back of Draven Vargas. Another big elbow to the area. Vargas trying to dig deep. Oh! Whoa, and sends his opponent off the ground into the mat. And look at this little roll-up. Look at that roll-up that produced a two-count. Very impressive athleticism from Draven Vargas. I'm getting impressed at the agility, the surprising agility of Draven Vargas. Sending his man into the turnbuckle. Here comes Draven. Oh! Oh, man. That is a huge splash. And now he's going to send his man across the ring. All that weight and absolutely no give in those turnbuckles. He's going to come at it again. A swing and a miss by Draven Vargas. And now Robinson with those knees in the back. He, again, exploiting that injury, exploiting that weakness, Pat Kelly. He goes for a cover, lifts the leg, and gets about a two and a half count. This is a great showing by Mr. Robinson, showing that he can hang with the likes of Draven Vargas. Wait a minute, oh! His man coming off the rope, taking him into the match, both men down. Draven Vargas has the arm over Jonas Albert Robinson, and another two and a half count. That black hole slam should have put Robinson away, but showing the resilience of Robinson. And as I said, how he can hang with the big boys, literally like Draven Vargas's case. And now going for the head crusher. But at the elusiveness, Jonas kicks out. Now back to his attack on the lower back of Draven Vargas. Now wait a minute. Referee Jay Stone calling for the bell. Robinson wasn't letting up on that attack in the corner. Wait a minute now. Draven Vargas taking out his aggression out on G-Shock, the former Lightning Division champion. Now wait a minute. G -Shock. And now G-Shock saving his protege, Jonas Alba Robinson, from any further damage from the likes of Draven Vargas. Vargas wins the match. As a result of a disqualification, Robinson would not let up with that corner. He was out on a mission to hurt Draven Vargas. There is your winner. But you know what? That shows, that's a testament to Robinson's versatility and his tenacity in the ring. He's, a, he's an aggressive wrestler. He's learning all he can from G-Shock, taking stuff the, the things he learned from Lance Storm in Canada. He's taking all that knowledge, and he's producing big dividends in the ring, like he did against Draven Vargas. I do have to agree with you here, Z-Man, that it was a great opening matchup tonight, and that Jonas Albert Robinson has come a long way in a short period of time, but Draven Raven Vargas giving him all he could take tonight in our matchup. It's a WC on TV. Stick around. Much more to come.